Hello, this is Uli Scholten speaking. Welcome to the Skyradar video channel. Today we talk about INQ signals. And we measure these signals with our next gen 8 GHz pulse and Doppler radar. We analyze and enhance the signals with uh, free scopes. Free scopes is uh, a digital signal processing environment for learning purposes. I already prepared the signal, which I received from our radio with a signal receiver. I extracted the raw data and I suppressed the noise from the source. I did a special video for that. Look at that if you want to learn more about that and displayed that here. And now we want to see what is actually happening with the I and the Q signals. <coughs> so let's first take a first I and Q splitter, connect it to the, this block here. So you see, it's actually real-time block diagrams that I'm creating here. I can drag things around and whatever block is activated you see here in the configuration panel you see the sec uh, settings in free scopes um, the iq splitter is by default set as magnitude meaning when i without splitting take a signal i always get the magnitude but now let's look at the signal See, it's a different setting than here. Let's look at the sit signal and go away from the magnitude, but look, look at the I part. Wow, <laughs> it changes drastically. Let's take a second splitter. You can actually put as many as you want. And if you want, 20, 30, 50 students can learn concurrently because we treat all the raw data in your specific computer and not in the radar. So that means that every student has a different result because he or she does his or her specific manipulations. Even fast Fourier and so on are done on the computer. So I connect this. And as you remember the IQ, IQ splitter, I can set it here to Q. Wow, you see the difference in the signal. This is the magnitude, this is the I, and this is the Q part. Why do we do that? I mean, there's a simple explanation. Let's start with the theoretical background. Two signals where the phase is 90 degrees apart are called in quadrature. Cosine wave and a sine wave are quadrature waveforms because they are 90 degrees apart. When the amplitude of the cosine wave, we call it I or in phase signal. The amplitude of the quadrature waveform or the sine waveform is Q. Now, why do we do that? It helps in the modulation because by appropriately varying the i and the q as a function of time, we can generate the resulting sum of those waveforms as frequency modulation or phase modulation. That means through a simple modulation of this i and q, we can create complex modulation in that resulting sum. sum. And that's really the whole thing about it. This is why we provide the I and the Q part from the radar. And of course, we can demodulate the whole thing later on as well. We'll share in, in further videos some exercises where you can see the advantages of I and Q. But what you see already here is you as a student can set up your own block diagram. You can extract the I and the Q part. And for instance, take the IQ out because we have uh, uh, SDKs that allow you to extract it directly from your computer and connect it to your MATLAB environment and do further stuff with it. 
or take the cue part out and work with it. Or just keep it within free scopes because it's already pretty powerful and be happy with it. You can buy the Sky Raider, Raiders and free scopes which comes with it at skyraider.com. It has been developed for universities, for aviation academies, for military academies. And it is the fastest way of getting into signal conversion in the easy and hands-on way. You can do it for vocational um, users, like for instance, ATSEP uh, uh, trainees or technical trainees, or you can use it in the university environment where you really dive into the math behind it. You can use it in research. You can lots of things. You can do lots of things with it. The first step would always be to talk to us at skyraider.com. I'm looking forward to doing a special demo with you. I'm looking forward to having a Zoom conference with you. And I would be thrilled if we could set place the, the next set of Raiders in your training environment. See you soon. Talk to you at skyraider.com. Bye for now.